Hello, my good people. Today is the day. It's Olivia Rodrigo concert day. It is currently, I don't know, 140. <laughs> I think it's around 145. 140, yeah, 143. And people have already been lined up. My friend Rachel sent me a photo of it, and it's atrocious. <laughs> I mean, she's not there yet, but her friend is. I just, we're leaving here at 2.30 because my mother, that's when she's getting home from work. And we weren't about to take the metro down because God knows what's happening down there. And it's just pure chaos. We so, would like to show to Olivia live. Yeah. And even after the concert, we're going to stay there and like say hello and hopefully talk to somebody. I don't even know. Take more pictures. Can you start your hair? Oh, yeah. It's not down yet, but you can kind of see the ribbon. Yeah. Look I'm doing stuff. it to a headband. So it's like this and then it'll be like in the back and we'll do something. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We always do. Yeah. And I'm going the other way. Okay, my good people. We made it. Yes. So, Rachel, we'll see you in a second. Her number is, let's turn this way so people don't think I'm just crazy. Her number is 125, I think. But they're not really caring about what number you are. So, me and Keisha, we kind of just wore their own number down. Made our own number. I hope it works. I mean, if it's really that chaotic, I don't think they're really going to check. There's the dog. She's around here. She's here. We're about to go camp out by her bus. bus. Where is Rachel? I don't know. What did she forget? What possibly could she, she have forgotten in. in the bathroom? <laughs> she fell It's right there. But I give credit to all the moms that are out here because they are out here for their daughters. And I think they're going to leave. Yes. Like, my mom, she drove us down here, which I love, but same time. Okay, we're also 20 and 19 years old. Um, so. I wasn't going to drive down here. <gasps> what did you forget? Oh, I forgot to fix my hair. Oh. oh, Rachel, say hi to the vlog. Hi. Oh, wow, this is incredible quality. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, me and Rachel went to high school together. And then Keisha just came from Kentucky, as we know. We're going to go camp out. But by... don't act like you live there part time. Oh, I do live. <laughs> I live... You do that. I pretty much live there full time. I'm here only three months out of the year. True. And then we're gonna go camp outside of her tour bus because that's where she is. She's eating. We're gonna find her. Okay. So we walked and we came back and we're at her tour bus. Yes. <laughs> She's in there. My friend Rachel, she was like, yeah, her manager went and got her food and brought it back. That was an hour ago. It's about 4.04 right now. Home girl's gotta get out and get on sound check. Unless she did that this morning, but like she's gonna. She was in Boston, wasn't she? Oh, that's true. Unless she drove overnight. Yeah, that's true too. Dun, dun, dun. But we're just waiting. Come on, we've been for like 30 minutes so far. So yeah, we made some friends along. Oops, <laughs> made some friends along the way. <laughs> Hi, good people. Oh, we're in line now. They lined us up. <laughs> we're real nervous. We made some friends along the way. Oh, sorry. I don't care. We made some friends along the way. Now we're just waiting. I hope it's like doesn't come back. <laughs> we had his phone out. I'm taking an apple sauce. I'm so hungry. We made some friends along the way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, this is the line. We're doing good. We're doing great. We're still waiting. But I hope and pray we get in. The doors should be opening a minute ago. So I mean, but. We're gonna make it. So, yeah. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're walking inside. We're walking inside. This is gonna be insane. We got some So much is happening. Why are we moving? Okay, we made it. We're in the pit and it's very chaotic right now. Very chaotic. We made some friends. I'm sweating. You guys try to be in my vlog. We made some friends along the way. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we can't see. It's hot. It's like you can see it on our faces. It's a little toasty now. Just a little toasty. But it's okay. Let me show you my view. Here's the view. 
and all the massive amount of people behind me.
craziest night of my life. Look at her. We hair. got pushed, we got shoved, we got all the above, and we got two feet from the floor. It was the best thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Keisha, I got any words of wise of wisdom? I don't think I have any words. Just be careful out there. People. Did we come in from the Shake Shack or the other one? Yes, we came in over here. It was it's brutal out here. <laughs> it, will, it was the most brutal thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. People were shoving, pushing, like. There was an area where she was going into the middle of the stage, like the barricade area, and we got shoved, pushed, and knocked around like rag dolls. And then yeah. we were like, me and Keisha, I saw Keisha go up to the front, and I was like, bet, it's our moment. Came to the front, homegirl was right there. She took my leather. She took my leather. I've been holding on thing for like a year and a half now. I've never been so happy we, oh, in my We were like this close to touching hands, I swear. Oh yeah, I'll show Honestly. you the video. I think that my heart came out of my soul. <clears throat> my heart came out of my body, and it was just, it was immaculate. We'll get another rundown when we get back to the house. When we're, you know, a little more calm, but still wired. <laughs> I'm done. <di> I <laughs> hey, listen, what? this trip is known for me, babe. It's just getting so Like, hard. what just happened? Uh, we didn't come that way. We came down one more. Her tour bus is gone. Tour bus is gone. She we said, saw. I got to go to Philly. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. But it was the best experience of my entire life. For that being my first concert back from COVID, a, a best thing in my entire life. We had some instances, but we're all okay now. Went to the medical room. I'm fine. We're good. We're fine. I can't really hear, so it's okay. Too. I know. I feel like I'm talking at like a one, but I'm definitely talking at like a ten. <laughs> but it's Hello, my good people. It's now the day after the concert. <laughs> we filmed an outro last night, but it was all gibberish because it was about one o'clock. <laughs> it's like three. It was about three o'clock, <laughs> <laughs> and we don't know what we were saying, so. We'll give you our rundown from our concert. That was lovely. Kishis? Mm, so good. 10 out of 10. Recommend. Yeah. I just... I'm still speechless, so I don't have much to say. Yeah. It was, <laughs> like, are we still keep trying to like, talk about it or we'll like, go back and watch the videos and we're like, whoa, this is insane. She was two feet from us. It was crazy. Because we were like... First of all, we had the longest line. To get in through security. At the three lines. We got in the slow one. Yes. Of course. So then we got there. And we were about like the 8th or 10th row back. But it wasn't like back far, far. And then throughout the concert, we got like pushed up. Because like everybody was jumping. And we were just like jumping on top of each other. Olivia kept coming down towards like the gate. And so people were like wanting to like have her grab the phone or have her touch her touch them and so like it just was like a constant push forward yeah. so we were able to get up to like the third or second row we it got was... separated towards the end yeah but... we found each other i mean she was right in front of me so i was like i wasn't i could see her from behind yeah. so i wasn't like she was like <laughs> so we found each other it's good but a lot of standing my legs oh my God. still hurt my feet <laughs> We stood from like three o'clock, that's when we got there, and then until we got into my mother's car. Which was like at like 11.30. Yeah. <laughs> and they wouldn't let us sit in the line. They were like, yeah. stand. Because it was like an hour before the doors opened, they were like, have to stand up. And we're like, <sighs> fine. So we did. Then we got in there. We had Holly Humberson came on like exactly at eight. And then she was done by like 8.45. Yeah. And Olivia came on around 9.15-ish. 9.20. It was yeah. great, though. Would, it was so good. I would do it again. Absolutely. But I would do it in a way where, like, I would sit there. And enjoy. Yeah. Because we were, <laughs> we, like, we were recording a lot. But there was, like, for me, I would have my phone. And then I would, like, look at her without looking at my phone. Or I would just, like, be sitting there. Because we had to stop her set about three times. Because people kept passing out or getting trampled. So when she restarted Deja Vu and Good For You, I kind of stood there and was like, I'm taking this all in. It was so hot. Like, it was blazing. We were dripping just There sweat. was, after Jealousy Jealousy, I was like, <laughs> like I looked like I just can't play the soccer game. <laughs> like, that looked like. Let's see what else. Mm -hmm. Oh, my letter. Is that what, what did I say last night that I almost forgot about? Was that a letter? Yeah. Okay, so I wrote a letter from Miss Olivia a year ago when she came to D.C. to see Biden and Fauci. 
And I was like, I'm gonna give it to her. Never saw her. So I closed the envelope and then opened it back up. And then two days, three days ago, I wrote in it again. I didn't read what I wrote before, but I wrote like, saw your McDowell look and I saw you at the Grammys, yada, yada, yada. So I put it in there. And then like throughout the night, I like had my phone up and said, can I please give you my letter? <laughs> she didn't see it obviously, but I definitely did. think she saw so it. So do I. Cause we were, I swear to you, there's no, we looked dead at each other. Yeah. Like there dead. was a moment where she just smiled at the phone. I swear she I, did. Yes, I saw that too. I was like, I swear to God she saw that. <laughs> Cause she like literally, she smiled. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't imagining it. I wasn't imagining yeah. it. So then Rachel, my friend Rachel, she took the letter and like waved it. Rachel's got long limbs, so she's taller than me. And I guess you were closer to her, and I guess security took it and put it on the stage next to her. Yeah, security took it and put it on the stage. So That's all I gotta say. So one day she'll respond back to me. Hopefully she does. If not, I think she's fine. Because she's very loving like that. And she is. Say thank you to everybody who's and given her stuff. My Instagram is now public. For some reason, I don't know why I made it public. Oh, oh I made it because I had... They won't let you tag people. Like, I wasn't when I was private. They wouldn't let me tag Olivia when I was trying to post my Grammy thing. Hmm. I was like, well, that's interesting. What's okay. And then Holly Humberstone, she liked my story that I put on her, and I thought I almost died. She about passed out over in the couch. Yeah, and then Olivia's fan account, Olivia.Rodrigo, I sent them my stuff, and I was like, they're not going to look at it. And then they posted it! Okay, so that's just not the fan account's name. I think I was still on a high. <laughs> so it's daily.rodrigo. I'm pretty sure you all follow it, but that's what it was. It wasn't olivia.rodrigo. I don't know what's happening to me. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and then all morning, I've been getting people like DMing me like, send me your photos. I was like, okay. I didn't care. So if you see Brooke's photos in the news, well. Yeah, it's me. She's famous now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically now we're just trying to recover. Yeah. Here's our little pieces of confetti. That was probably the best part of the night. <sighs> we have the hope you're okay one. That's backwards to you, but it's there. And then we have thanks for coming to the sour tour. Wouldn't miss it for the world, Miss Girl. <laughs> yeah. So we just, I just, I really grabbed a handful of confetti. Yeah. Mm. So now it's just all sitting on the cum. Yeah, I'm about to eat because I'm hungry. So, we saw Iris. We did. That was cool. Try on our little razor scooter. Yeah. Your little pink hat. Mm. So sweet. Do you want to talk about how you're overwhelmed with her biking in DC? Yeah, that just blows my mind, man. <laughs> Miss Olivia before the concert, she's like two hours before like the doors open. And she's sitting out there biking around DC with Iris. And I was like, this girl is literally not a care in the world. No. You know what? You gotta live your best life. You really do. I can't believe the amount of people who passed out. Or just was like, she had to stop the show. We saw the show like six times. Three for Holly and three for Olivia. <laughs> we did. Oh, well, we got more time with them. That's all yeah. that matters. <laughs> but they were genuinely concerned. There's a photo of Olivia. When someone literally like passed, like full on passed out, and maybe me, I took a picture of Olivia because she was right there, and yeah. she's like, "She's like, are you okay?" I was like, "Yeah." I should have pretended to pass out, but once we started jumping up and down, it was fine. So that was it <laughs> for our handy dandy concert with Miss Olivia Rodrigo and Holly Humberstone. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> and <laughs> I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.